I completely forgot the bitch down the hall, right? So, um, <coughs> ADD amplified by brain damage. Cause I've been like, I was, I was even much, much worse at this even before I started smoking, and I'm already on the Ritalin. All Ritalin does, it actually helps me to sleep. Ritalin helps me to sleep, and it helps me to feel. I don't feel medically tired, which is a nice change of pace. So, the 14th, the 14th floor bitch, Little Miss, I have a PhD in psychology. Really? Then you should know better. She didn't like that very much. Um, she's another woman that wears her husband's rank. Only her husband is a diplomat, which she will have you know. Okay. And? Fuck, if I'm going to tell the Secretary of the Army, who I actually respect off, then who the fuck are you and your husband that's not even here? Anyway. See, I really am a good, kind, and gentle person. Until I'm pushed. <laughs> and, then, and then it just gets fun. So, it really is a nice building. It really is. I'm really after contrition. Oh, and that's right. That gets me back to the building and the donating in the apartment for purple combat boots. The first 24-7 safe house, suicide safe house for veterans for when you just can't fucking handle it. Roll up, yo. Anyway, because that's how change gets done. You don't fucking bitch about it and, oh, my sister killed herself. Wow, did she serve? Why didn't you fucking help her? Oh my god. Because, well, because officers have to have policy. Yeah, well, guess what? Power's a fallacy. And unless you can actually have the rubber hit the road, it's meaningless. Guess what? Your power relies on us. We hold up the officers. So get your head out of my ass. So... So I want to end on a high note, and Purple Combat Boots is actually really one of many, very, very unique and original, totally fucking awesome, like, now, kind of, big deal change shit, right? Anyway, bitch. So, I was seriously injured and recovering and all that kind of stuff, right? And, um, I'll just mention the one incident where it came to a head, and I reclaimed my voice. Um, there's a laundry room on each floor, three washers, three dryers. I, my standard protocol is, unless I'm doing laundry in the middle of the night, and then I only use two of, of the each machines, always leaving one open, my standard protocol is, if it's reasonable hours, I use one and to one, and then pace it out. So that way there's two available for others to use. Whoa, oh my god, that sounds a little bit like manners. Like thinking things through beyond the, the tip of your nose and having consideration and compassion for other people. Whoa! Oh, don't want to blow your mind there. Anyway, I had put my laundry into the dryer. I put my card in. And I walked off without pressing the button. Okay. Um, and... I just kind of forgot about laundry, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's a fucking hour, right? I mean, give or take. It, okay. I came back like an hour later and found my wet laundry dumped out, not even on top of 
the washer. And she was actively using all three dryers and then chastised me for leaving my laundry in there. I'm sorry, ma'am. I I'm I'm a disabled veteran. I have brain damage. I can tell. Whoa, fuck, um, bitch. The without missing a beat, the word out of my mouth was bitch. Oh my god! I'm going down to complain to the board. Ma! Go down and complain to the board that has enabled her and taking such actions, and I am not the only disabled veteran in the building she picks on. And the board enables her. Some of them do anyway. Whoops. No names. Anyway. She goes down and rah, 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 whatever, and I'm like, well, fuck, if she's gonna go down and complain, I'm gonna go down and complain, too. I mean... And the funny thing is, there's, so there's this exchange or whatever. And they're like, did you call her a bitch? I'm like, damn right I did. She's like, oh, well, I'm not fucking denying I called her a bitch. Absolutely I fucking called her a bitch. I was trying to apologize for an inconvenience of her being an obnoxious bitch. When, when I'm like, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm a disabled veteran. I have brain damage. I can tell. Bitch is lucky that's all I did. But that would be unkind of me. And the fucking fucked up thing it is, too, is that this was like psychosocial experiment awesomeness in the fact that she had her glasses on at the time. Okay. She recognized me because she had had issues with me before. She'd already decided she didn't like me. But the laundry exchange was uh, early in the morning. She was in her robe. Her true age showed. And oh my god, honey, if you need that much makeup, you're doing something wrong. Anyway, her true age showed. She didn't have her glasses on and big, like, whatever kind of thing. The, the next day, anyway, she didn't have her glasses on and she was fucking nice to me. We're in the laundry room, and um, she's like, oh, well, my son's a veteran, too. My son, wow, 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 whatever. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then I let her know who I was. <gasps> Listen, bitch, if you can't, if, you, if the way your behavior changes so much because of how your glasses, whether you can see someone or not, then you're the one with the problem. That's the building for you all over. It's actually, for the most part, it's a really great building. Old Town Alexandria is a world away from DC while being only one stoplight. You know, I, I'm actually happy here, except for a couple of things. You know, I mean, and I'm sorry, but I'm not the one to turn tail and run because bitches like that are used to being able to bully people and get away with it. Ha! Okay, right? So there's this all exchange and shit, right? Police come up. Uh, no, 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 no. So there was the, there was the initial exchange. Then I write her a letter saying, um, saying basically that I feel that she is harassing me as an, as, as an individual and that she just needs to leave me alone. That she is causing me such emotional distress that being disabled, especially in the way that I am, that it is actually a criminal act to cause me such injury. And if she and I bump heads one more time, I will take every precious penny in her retirement package. Have a good day. I also politely informed her that she really needed to be much more mindful of who she chose to pick on 
because she chooses to live with her diplomat husband in the mecca of the military. And guess what? It's quite regular for us to flip the fuck out. So maybe you should try being a little bit kinder and more considerate of others. Holy shit, right? Police roll up. Like, I shit you not. I had like five or six cops in here. And one of the... I mean, like, they fucking rolled in heavy. Okay, I tell you what. They rolled out to tell her to leave me alone. Because they got it. Because the cops are our little brothers. They got it. Yes, I fucking called her a bitch. And guess what? That's my free right. I didn't touch her. I'm not starting nothing. Don't start something, won't be nothing. Back the fuck up. Oh my god. And that's how it got with, with Sally and the Marine as well, right? Okay, so the cops came out with the whole David Harris thing, right? And I called them because... To the point of a mental breakdown and push, and, and so that my, I have to go back on all my medication, my psych meds and shit, that is unacceptable. He is a staff member, and absolutely, he should be afraid for his actions to keep his job. Welcome to America. That is capitalism. Anyway. Oh, but think about the stress it's going to put on me. Really? Wow, maybe if you pulled your head out of your own ass for a minute to actually look beyond the end of your nose, you could actually see you are your own problem. Just a little bit of advice. Sorry the band-aid rips. You'll either thank me for it or fuck you anyway. So, cop tells me, uh, cop tells me, that despite the psychological damage veterans suffer and the absolute attention that is being misdirected and poorly executed on concerns of like su veteran suicide and shit. But then again, I gotta give you credit because nobody, y'all didn't know better, right? I'm fixing that. Because somebody's gotta tell ya. Anyway, cops told me they couldn't do nothing until they touched him. He is a self-described arrogant black man. So if I gotta get my hands dirty, I'm going in deep. I called him a nigger. One sure fucking fire away to piss him off. To make him, if, if he wanted to hit me, push him to it. Push him to it. Hit me. I told him what I was doing it at the time. Remember, I've called these shots like Babe Ruth every step of the way. Oh my god, you the bomb? Wow. It's so much fun when you take the power back. <laughs> so, uh, he calls up the board member, right? And he was gonna call Sally, but I'm like, oh, Sally's on my side, don't worry about it, I've already talked to her. I mean, so he calls the Marine. I'm like, well, I haven't, I haven't done that one yet, let's try, let's try another door. Let's go, right? Marine rocks up, and he's a Vietnam era. I'm sure he probably thought he was some sort of arrogant fuck Dudley do right back in the day, because goddamn, he still wears it. Yeah, but I bet you if you talk to your teammates, you probably really weren't all that good. Anyway, he now knows better because he had his ass handed to him by a little girl. An army. He pulled the vet card. God damn, no you fucking don't, especially you. Traitor. He told me he was ashamed of me as a veteran. And went on and on. I quickly ended it though. Cause I knew I knew I was going downstairs to pick a fight, so I put my combat boots on and when he started to go step to me and then pull the veteran card, I'm ashamed of you as a veteran. I fucking rocked up on my toes, got right up in his face, and told him how I was ashamed of him as how dare he allow a sociopath that abuses women in his house. It's 
fucking hilarious. I mean, I refuse to release the footage of it because that would be unkind, but just imagine the camera angle. It's the point of view camera, man. That's taking reality shows to the next level because I don't want you to see me. I want you to see how I see me. Huh. Interesting. It's at least novel. It's at least different. And at the end of the day, whether you think I'm crazy or not, whether you think I'm a conduit for God or not, the question remains, was I effective? Facts. Facts are right. They have no feelings. They're neither here nor there. Their facts are reason. Facts are reason, and God is reasonable. All the rest are opinions and labels. So small minds can try and understand. But guess what? The time for small mindedness. The time for being mindless. The time is over. Fortunately, this entire species has evolved. Born to be good. Dasher Keltner. Woo! Evolutionary psychology, the gazelle that runs off from the pack when they're attacked, it gets weeded out. That is why we have become so polarized, and that is why we are evolving so quickly, is because we're condensing exponentially with our, with our growth and knowledge and education because we thought intelligence was the most important. And we've evolved faster and faster and faster. We can go from the wheel to, to the world is flat, to, to cars and planes and the stars. And yet we know nothing of the ocean or the human brain. We can tell by looking at, at our own path of destruction that looking outward has not brought answers. Because the answers aren't, aren't really the issue. God is the answer. Faith is the answer. Nature is the answer. We are the answer. The problem is finding the right question. If you want to look at it from a religious aspect, the greatest trick the devil ever did was making men question whether or not he even existed. I did use the gender uh, of he, and honestly, I think if, uh, if the devil was anyone, it would be a she. Because nothing personal, if you think, it was a, if you think the devil would be a he, then you don't know women very well. Those that give life equally are capable of taking it away because of the bond we have to that life. So ask yourself. Would you rather fight a pissed off mother protecting her child or each other? And then after, you know, that that's that's the whole Mobius strip. The coming around. It's it's and the pendulum swings. And the pendulum swings.